Hey guys, Dave Anderson here. Welcome back to the channel. This is uh, Heli Cool's Helipad. Hey guys, I've got a lot of cool things that I want to do today. Uh, there's there's been a couple of uh, chit chats about about the hub maintenance and uh, it having yellow metal in it. And well, the other day when I serviced Malachi, the front hub, I spilled a little bit of oil on the ground. Accidentally, I didn't know that somebody had had serviced it clear to the top. I wasn't really expecting that, but I, I mopped up most of it. But you know what? For a couple weeks after, I kind of smelled this burnt oil smell. You know that sulfury kind of smell. Uh, you guys probably know what I mean. So I think it's time that I need to just drain that oil out because I want to show you something that I found in in Patricia. So I'm going to drain this out, make sure that there's some good oil in there and the right kind of oil. You guys stay tuned. There's going to be more than that coming up on this show. Find out what this is all about. All right, since we're going to be servicing the hubs, I want to get all the oil and any kind of dirt or contaminants all mixed up so that when I take the drain plug out, it all comes out and there isn't like some heavier stuff that's going to stay in a crook or crevice somewhere. So I'm going to take Malachi out for a couple of miles, mix it all up and then drain the hub oil. As luck or providence would have it when we stopped I asked my son to hop out and see if the if the plug was at the bottom or or guide me to it it was already there all right I'm gonna try to catch as much as I possibly can in this jar clear jar so that both you and I can see what kind of oil was in this hub uh, this is a number eight uh, Allen wrench. I don't know, it's looking fairly dark. Well, I've got the majority of it. It's still going to be trickling out here for a while. All right, while that is draining, I want to show you what was in Patricia. Can you see that, that rather dark layer, kind of a chocolate, uh, chocolate milk looking layer? That, it was in Mal uh, was in Patricia and eh, not good. So this is why I decided to do what I'm doing here with Malachi. But here's the thing, guys. You need to uh, make sure that the oil is uh, compatible with uh, yellow metals. Um, in order for it to be compatible for yellow metals, you're going to have to look for uh, right there, GL4. Now this happens to be compatible with GL5 or 4, um, recommended for that. But this is, this is rather expensive. It's a royal purple, um, 75W140. Uh, the only reason really why I'm I'm using it is because I had it. I've, I've had it for a while. I have four bottles of it. It's been sitting on the shelf. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in there. Each of these hubs only takes, uh, you know, about 13 ounces, I think. Uh, I'm going to double check that to make sure that that's right. But I believe it's about 13 ounces. So one of these bottles, um, it's one quart. 
So it, it should actually fill both of the hubs, just one of these. So it is a little bit more expensive, but what the heck? Fully synthetic, I'm gonna use it. All right, guys, I told you that uh, I had a plan for one of these, and, and this is such a cakewalk. I don't know why I didn't think of this before, um, but this, this bolt here is a quarter, quarter 20 bolt, and I just have an extra, I mean, this is on there tight with a lock washer. I just have an extra one there, and it, and it has the, the built-in washer there. Well, a quarter 20 just happens to fit all of our little camera devices like this. Now, why do I want to have something like this that a camera device can fit on? Well, I'll tell you why. Because I wanna be able to stick this just about anywhere that, it, that this thing will clamp underneath the vehicle. And I can watch certain components if I have some kind of a, a vibration, um, some kind of noise that it's making, all, all I can use is my sense of feel, my sense of touch, and my sense of hearing, but I really can't see really what's going on. So this is going to help me uh, do some diagnosis. I can look at the drive shaft while I'm going down the road. I can watch the tire as I'm going down the road, see if it's hopping around or whatever. I'm going to add a lanyard to this, 550 cord lanyard. So just in case this was to pop off or something was to happen to here that it would pop off and swing underneath, I wouldn't actually run it over. And I think that's, it's just for, it's just for extra caution so I don't uh, damage uh, the, the camera equipment. But very easy build. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to consider this a diagnosis tool. You need to build one. It's a piece of cake. Trust me. All right, in almost no time flat, I got two of them built. Like I said, it's super easy. One's going to Bob, as you might have guessed. It was his birthday the other day, and this is in addition to what else I got him. All right, I know you're wondering what the oil looks like, and this has had a couple of hours to set. Um... I don't see any sediment at the bottom like I saw on Patricia's. This is the which passenger side. It doesn't actually smell that bad. Oh, it's weird that first came out, it kind of smelled bad. This is the uh, uh, driver's side. And 
don't see any sediment in that one either, so that's also a good thing. And I can't smell anything. Can't smell anything bad in that one either. This is the one I actually added just a little bit to last time. Uh, this is uh, the one that um, that had way too much in it. This is kind of odd though. Look at that one. It's what, an ounce or two less than this one? I'm definitely gonna have to keep an eye on those, um, making sure that they have the proper amount in. Probably checking them every three months or so. I think that's just a good idea to take care of. Hey guys, if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up down there. That would be so terrific of you to do. If you haven't subscribed yet, would love to have you on the channel as a subscriber. Trust me, I love all you guys that come on there. New, old, make comments. It's all beautiful. Thank you so very much for supporting the channel. And it's just been blowing up. Like I've been saying in the last couple videos, it is just, just going up like crazy. And uh, that's a great thing to see. Uh, wonderful to have uh, uh, Malachi out there in the world stage and get the, the good message that we're trying to put out there, out there to all of you folks. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, you guys be safe and God bless.